Cells are everywhere. They make up all life. This includes us, you, me, your mom, the Queen of England, and everyone else. And all of these cells need to get proper nutrients to survive. One of the ways cells acquire nutrient molecules is by vesicle transport. Vesicles store nutrients like vacuoles do, but they also transport the nutrients across the cell membrane so the cells can get the nutrients. This can be broken down into three types. The first of the types of vesicle transport is phagocytosis. This is when the cell eats and the nutrients it gets are of a solid. Sometimes it's just big proteins or molecules that are too big to get through the membrane by other means. But this is also what happens when cells engulf other cells, like in the case of white blood cells. Whenever there is an infection, harmful alien bacteria are eaten by white blood cells in order to remove bad cells from the body. The white blood cell envelops the bacteria in a depression of its cell membrane and pinches the depression off so it forms a bubble around the bacteria inside the cell. This bubble is the new vacuole. The next part of vesicle transport is pinocytosis. This is just like phagocytosis, but the molecules that enter the cell are of a liquid, not a solid. Pinocytosis is much more common than phagocytosis because all cells undergo pinocytosis while only specialized cells like the white blood cell undergo phagocytosis. This is a macrophome, a type of blood cell found in most tissues. It ingests 25% of its body fluid each hour. In both pinocytosis and phagocytosis, it is the phospholipid bilayer that bends. Both the cell membrane and the vesicle are made of the phospholipid bilayer. The last part is exocytosis. This is when the cell gets rid of waste instead of getting something in. The nutrient molecules start inside the vesicle, which is inside the cell, and the vesicle slowly merges with the cell membrane. When it has connected, the cell membrane splits to form a hole so the molecules can escape. At no time is the cell open, because the vesicle acts as an extension of the membrane and eventually becomes part of it. This is a neuron cell excreting waste, but some cells also use exocytosis to transfer information between them like neuron cells. Cells are everywhere. They make up all life. This includes us, you, me, your mom. <laughs> 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 I gotta do it again. <laughs> the next part of... Uh, <laughs> Alright. <laughs>